Well, today's the day, biggest honey harvest ever. We're down here at Rancam Bee Ranch and uh, see all those boxes of honey behind me? About 120 plus or minus boxes of honey by far the most I've ever pulled. There's Rusty. And we're gonna turn Deja this- Deja vu all over again. Absolutely. We're gonna turn this camera around here and kind of walk through the equipment real quick before we get started. <coughs> okay, so here is all the honey stacked up. Uh, we've got right around 120 boxes of honey, a few deeps in there, mostly mediums. And uh, we got this uncapping tank here. Rusty actually made some adjustments on it yesterday. He put a couple of boards right here to kind of secure this in place better. And he cut this out here so it's easier to get a bucket in and out of there. And here's his Lyson 30 frame extractor. Rusty, tell us about your 30 frame extractor. So this is a Lyson 30 frame made in Poland. Really happy with the machine, absolutely zero complaints with it. It will run 30 deeps, mediums, or shallows. The deeps can get a little tight, 30 plastics. Plastic frames fit easily, 30 wooden frames um, can get a little tight, but you can get 30 in there, no problem. Um, one big thing I really like about this machine is the design of the bottom sets the honey gate a little bit lower, and it makes emptying a whole lot easier um, than some of the other brands out there. It's digital and programmable, so you can set your spin pattern, if you will, or dynamics back here on this control, and it'll ramp up at different uh, speeds and stay at different speeds for certain times, up to a 15-minute cycle. So at 15 minutes, it shut down, shuts down automatically. Uh, but I love it. Um, no complaints. I highly recommend it. Cool. So then here's my setup over here. It's my extractor. It's a 20-frame Maxent extractor it's a, not near as big it doesn't do as well with the large frames you can only put 10 uh, deeps in here it easily is 20 mediums and it spins really well it's got a manual adjustable speed on it so we just kind of adjust it as we need to, to get the honey spun out and then both of us use these simple harmony farms and cappers they really help speed things up from the old uh, bread knife serrated knife or hot knife well you can see we got these strainers right here the honey goes through the strainer and into a five gallon bucket with a paint strainer on here, five gallon paint strainer. And that's really all we have to do to strain the honey. And then when it's full, we just make sure the bucket's full. And we put a lid on there and it's ready to go. And then Rusty also has this uncapping tank where we'll put some of the cappings and stuff, extra stuff in here. Homemade, he made this from- uh, tubs. Some tubs he Love bought at Lowe's and he put a- about 40 bucks in something that cost you nearly 200 from any big bee supplier. He rigged that thing up. So anything extra we have, like when we pull uh, excess cappings, we just drop them in here and it just filters the honey out and then we can drain that honey out. He's got a sink over here. With honey, it's sticky all the time. And so we are constantly washing our hands in this sink and anything else that needs to be washed off. It works extremely well. It's just right here in the honey house. And he's got another table over here if we need to use it for anything. So it's really a great setup, much better than my one car garage. And I really appreciate the opportunity Rich, Rush has given me to kind of team up with him and get this done. So we harvested my first honey in here as a team on May 22nd, I think. And then we did his a couple of weeks ago. And now we're going to do mine today. And every time, Rusty, it seems like it gets bigger and bigger every harvest. Yeah, yeah. It's just crazy. Oh, by the way. There's a stack of buckets we're probably gonna come close to filling up right there. We, we bought about a little over 70 buckets, so we'll see what we end up with. That was Chris on the iron capper. There's Lily with the pen roller. There's Christy, she's been working down here. Getting that done. There's each tractor rolling there. And then Scott over here filtering, getting the buckets Ready to go, getting full. Over here on Rusty's tractor, loading up now. Putting a few deeps mixed with some mediums in there. There's Carson over there. And that by there. So, while the operation going so far, we have what eight or nine buckets. So we're rolling pretty good. So we're trying something new this time. The honey house is way down there behind the house, if you can see it. I'm not sure if you can, but we've parked the trailer out here and we decided to bring the empty 
uh, wet honey supers out here and let the bees start cleaning them up. Rusty's bees are probably just gonna go ahead and clean them up. And uh, that way we can get these boxes out of the honey house a little bit at a time so it's not as crowded and cluttered in there and as messy. And I told Rusty, I don't care, his bees can have all the honey out of these boxes. No, he didn't, he's charging me. <laughs> anyway, so we're gonna get these things unloaded. This is a new twist to what we're trying to do uh, with this honey harvest down here. We're getting kind of trying to get better as we go every time. someone else here today in the crew marcus my buddy what's the marcus uh having a blast uh hanging out with two youtube sensations <laughs> uh at the same time learning about how the actual process the actual operation of uh extracting honey this much honey yes. uh, yeah man having a blast cool marcus came right as a bunch of our crew left so it was good to have him appreciate you coming marcus oh no problem no problem What a dummy. Well, I did something really stupid. I was trying to get some video for the YouTube channel. I was holding this thing up over the extractor and the corner got caught. It flipped up, knocked the camera out of my hand and cut my hand. Look at this. Just took a big chunk of flesh out of my hand right there. So I'm already missing a finger on this hand. I'm just glad I'm not missing my thumb on this hand. It's pretty sore, but it's gonna be all right. We got a little blood, sweat, and tears. This is the blood part of it today. We're getting about done though. Everything's all right and I'm okay. Uh, this is Chris right here. He showed up. He's got a few boxes over there. He's been helping us out and uh, we're going to do his boxes here in a minute. How's it going, Chris? Pretty good. Uh, what you think about this operation? Uh, it's a lot more work than I originally thought. That's right. And who are you, sir? I'm your stepdad. Stepdad? Yeah. All right, he came to check it out as well. This is the last extractor of deep framers going here. We got 10 frames in there. We're loading this one up for the last time over here. We're loading our last load at hour one. Uh, I don't know. What time is it? Not at hour eight and a half, we're loading the last load. Hour eight and a half, we're loading the last load right here of mine. And then we're going to do a run each extractor with a load from Chris. And we'll be done with the extracting and then it'll be on to clean up. We've got a lot of work done though, haven't we, Rusty? <laughs> yeah, it's been crazy. Crazy how much we've gotten done. Here, look at this over here. All those buckets of honey right there. Absolutely nuts. Whew, man. That's what time is it? 6.46 and we're done. 10 hours. 81 buckets from my bees. How many gallons is that? You gonna make me do math in front of people? 405, how about that? 405 gallons. Now I gotta figure out how to get rid of it. But I appreciate it, it was a good day. I'm like, we're getting faster for sure. 
Yep. We also did five more buckets for a friend and two more for Honey Hill. So we're getting this thing down, Pat. It was fun, but we are hot. I survived, I didn't lose my thumb. Yeah. I'm wearing this glove, so it's protected it, and we went ahead and finished this up. All we gotta do now is clean up. The bees are cleaning up the frames out there, and I think I'm done with honey for the year. What do you think about? Depending some amazing epiphany, yeah, uh, they can keep what we have in the fall. I'm hey, interested in it. That's right. Well, I think that's a wrap on this, and I really appreciate it, Rusty. Uh, for using your, it really worked out well working together. Thanks for all the help that came. Just a wonderful couple of days here, hard work. We were busy, we're tired, but it was awesome. So that's it for now from Rank and B Ranch. Y'all take care and be safe.